right here is my 1972 Datsun 510 being featured on Bring a Trailer. So hopefully with this walk around video, kind of go into some details of the car, hit some highlights of it, hopefully answer any questions you guys may have um, prior to bidding. I do have an in-car video of it driving around town. Um, just kind of show from the driver's perspective what it's like. I think that video got caught, excuse me, the video got cut a couple seconds short, so I'm gonna try to cover what I didn't get to cover in that one and this one. Hopefully, hopefully you guys won't be with any questions about it. So we'll try to cover as much as we can. So the story on the car was bought new from Trophy Dotson here in Dallas, Texas. About 1984, 1985, the L16 and the 4-speed were pulled out of the vehicle and put in a Datsun 620 pickup. And it remained as a shell until 2013. I think that's when I bought the thing, 2013. Um, so I bought it from as a shell, bought it from the original owner. Um, we took it and uh, it was a complete shell. We took it and tore it down. Media blasted the entire underside of the car. After we media blasted it, the only rust we were able to find was around the drain holes in the floor pans and a little bit on the rockers. So we were able to cut that out, treat it, replace the new metal. So all that's been done. After that, it was top coated and steam sealed. The top coat was like an epoxy primer. And then that was finished off with a tenable undercoating in the 068 original yellow and color. So, the whole entire other side of the car has been um, finished out in that tenable undercoating. Provides a nice rock chip resistant um, finish, nice and durable, and it helps with a little bit of sound deadening as well. So, starting from the back, um, after that was done, we pulled out all the rear suspension and the rear diff. All that was torn apart. Everything was media blasted and repainted. Um, the diff, new seals, new gaskets, everything needed for that. And it is the original R160 rear end to the car. Um, half shafts were torn apart and rebuilt, checked and inspected. Those are all new. Uh, all the brakes, the factory brakes were torn apart and rebuilt. Everything on the other side of this car, it was either, as far as the hardware goes, we either replated the original stuff or it was replaced altogether. So try to leave no stone unturned with the underside of this vehicle. But continuing out back, it has QA1 coilovers that have been revalved from Troy Ermish. They got a nice, good feel. I have them on the softer side. You can, you know, increase the compression and rebound of them, uh, for maybe for like a track use. But they feel real good. It's got a nice, nice, good feeling. Um, running to the front, it's running 280ZX front struts and brakes out front. They have been cut and dropped to the height of the vehicle. They feel real nice and good. Um, it has a Foodle Fab front sway bar, so the front end is nice and tight. Um, again, everything was media blasted and uh, painted. New bushings, new seals, new hoses, new hardware, um, pads, rotors, everything. Everything in the front end has been redone. Everything in the rear end has been redone. So, the motor is out of a 92 240SX. So it's a K24DE and a five speed. Story goes on that one, the motor, both the motor and the transmission were previously rebuilt prior to me getting a hold of them. I don't have any paperwork to prove that, um, but that's just the story of it. Um, when I got it, it had good compression across all four cylinders, you know, no major leaks or anything like that. Didn't smoke, still doesn't smoke. So when we got a hold of it, we tore it down to a long block, kind of went through it, made sure everything was healthy and good to go. Um, and then kind of built it back up from a long block. So motor, it remains essentially stock for the most part, minus the header and the intake system of it. Pop the hood so you can see it. So it's mainly stock. Try to keep it simple, and reliable, and a great motor for the car. Nice and torquey. Nice and torquey, and the nice thing about the K's, since it's a domestic motor here, anything for this car you'd need, you can go pick up at your local auto parts store. So. 
So the engine bay was, it too was media blasted. There was no, no rust or anything here to worry about. Um, we did remove the battery tray. That's about the only body work finishing work this engine bay needed after media blasting. So that was done. And then it was finished off in the 068 yellow, original yellow of the vehicle. And you can see we, every rubber piece that you could buy for these cars, we did. It's got every new rubber piece, new rubber bushing, isolator, hood bump stops, rubber bump stops, you name it. You can see all the hardware, everything's been replated or replaced. Might be hard to see in the sun. So, it's all been redone. The grill's nice and straight, nice and clean. New hardware there as well. You'll notice that the grill, the bumper, let's see, the wheels, the center of the wheels, the rear bumper, and the taillight trim, all that's been repainted in a graphite. So it may be hard to see in the video. It may look black or maybe a, a gray, but it is a it is a graphite. Maybe you can see right here in the sun what that looks like now. So all those are color matched the same. You may have noticed that the, excuse me, that the wipers are not on the car. The motor is mounted in the car, the wiper motor. The wipers, I pulled them off. I have them, they go with the car. You could up put them back on the car. I was just kind of going for a track car look and removed them. But um, you could easily up put them back if so choose. Kind of going to the body of the car. So I drove it for about maybe three or four years after we did all the body work and put it in primer. So the idea was, was just kind of to shake it down real good, make sure we didn't have any unforeseen issues before tearing it apart any further and painting it. So I drove it in primer, um, took it to Road Atlanta, or I guess we took it to Zcon first in 2017, took it to Circuit Americas, and in 2018 we took it to the Midi to Road Atlanta. It was an absolute blast on both those tracks. Fun little car on the tracks. So after all that, we stripped it down, pulled all the glass. It has had a glass out paint job. All the panels were pulled off. Any additional body work needed from driving three years in primer was done so. It was finished in the original 068 yellow. And then the taillight uh, surround area, the quarter windows, and then the B pillar were all painted in a satin black. Kind of looks like a Brock Buster. But in the process of that, you know, all new door handles, they're brand new, new emblems across the board, new C-pillar emblems. You can see here, I mean, we did everything. Replay the gas cap, new rubber bumpers, new hardware. Get a new, bump, new uh, emblems. That's a 1972 Texas license plate. New tail lights. Here. I don't know if you're able to see that or not, but replace the, the door lock or the excuse me, the quarter window mechanisms. See brand new rubber strips or seals everywhere. New door seals. Picture the bin tag. Get everything was replated or replaced. So, kind of start from the inside of the car. It does have, you can see it, it maybe blocking it in the shadows. It does have T3 door cards, T3 kick panels, and then out back it's got the T3 panels as well. They rattle a little bit, um, you know, just being a powder coated aluminum panel. So. Just want to let you know, if you ever hear in the videos of driving around, 
you do hear a little bit of a, a, a rattle, it's those panels. So, roll cage, bolt in roll cage, painted in the factory color. Headliner was professionally redone, new sun visors. I did take the rear view mirror off these videos. It was just, didn't want that to the camera. Staring right back in my face. Dash is completely redone. New speed hut gauges across the board. New center console. The nice thing about this one is these gauges are actually molded to face you. So they're not just sticking straight out or shooting straight down where you can't see them easily. So Love box signed by John Codwell, John Morton, and Pete Brock. Open it up, you can see. I took the cover off so you can see it, but it does have a Busman fuse box in it. So we got rid of the glass fuses and put it in the glove box for an easy access. Momo steering wheel. Let's see, I don't know if this is going to come up or not, but here's a shot of the new sun visors. New headliner all the way back. And then the, it may not come up in the shot very well, but the rear seat delete. I do have the rear seat. It's, um, I have the frame and the foam and what's left of the vinyl. If you, it goes with the car. If you wanted to put the rear seat back in it, you could have that redone and install it right back in the car. So there wasn't anything permanent done to it to put that rear seat delete panel in it. Same goes for the, uh, the heater and AC of the car. So it doesn't have heat or AC. Um, again, it kind of going for the track, track car look, took all that out as a weight, weight reduction effort. You could install the heater back in it if you wanted. I do have all the equipment for that. Um, it goes with the car as well. So the wipers, the wiper system, the heater, the heater controls, all that stuff, and the rear seat. Um, if if the next owner would like them, I'd be more happy to throw them in with the car. I do have some extra parts, extra tail light lenses and a um, bunch of other little miscellaneous hardware pieces that go along with the car um, if the next owner would such a desire for them. Go around and open up the trunk. Ugh. So the trunk was also finished out with the undercoating that we did in the floor, or I mean, I guess the underside of the car. So, Victory fuel tank. Um, T3 panels out back. Battery relocated. The trunk. New tail lights. Let's see here. New hardware. Replated hardware. That was replated as well. Backup shot of it. This car does have a couple quirks I'd like to point out. They may have been captured in the other videos of the car, but I figured I'd, I'd mention it in all of these in case someone didn't see them. Um, looking at the speed height gauges, might be hard to see in this time of day, but if I turn the lights on, you can see a little blue light. It's off, it's on, off, on. So that is, of course, that's the high beams. Um, I just wanted to point out that when the high beams are on, the light goes off. And when they're off, the light goes on. Um, so they're backwards. Uh, didn't really bother me, but I just wanted to disclose that. And then um, you probably saw, if you watched the video of me driving around in the car, um, when you kill it, you can actually just take the key out and it'll still run for maybe two or three seconds and then it will die. Um, I think that's something to do with the Busman fuse box that we have in here. Um, it doesn't, it's never bothered me. Um, it's just kind of a quirk it has. And I just wanted to disclose that just in case whoever buys it next is wondering why it doesn't die as soon as you pull the key out of it. So it'll run for two or three seconds and then it'll kick off and die. Um, just kind of a quirk of the car. So, 
can kind of see we have all new hardware, new rubber pieces. So the wheels, I have a mission already. They're 15 by seven, Raikkonen mesh um, with a Yokohama S drive, 195-50 R15 tires. So apart from the paint job in this car, everything else has had roughly 1200 miles on it since installation so everything's pretty much still brand new the paint job's got maybe maybe 15 20 miles i mean it is as about as fresh as they get so let's see exterior of the car it came out extremely well we're very happy with the way it looks just a couple things to point out this drip trim right here I don't know if you can see that in the videos or not but there's probably a maybe a four inch section of this drip trail um, excuse me this drip drain trim right here it's got a little bit of damage on it so I just want to make sure the next owner is aware of that And then there's a, you may not be able to see that in the video. This crack right here, kind of see it. That is just the seam sealer. That's nothing structural or nothing major. It's just the seam sealer of the car. Just one of the things we didn't see until after paint. I just wanted to disclose those two things just so they weren't surprises for the next owner. But with that, it's been a fun little car. I've really enjoyed it. Two track days we've taken it on were an absolute blast. The weekend cruises are fun in it. So I hope for the next owner they enjoy it as much as I did. It's been a good, reliable little car. Try to keep it. Try to keep it simple, try to keep it basic. Try to have a bunch of extra stuff on there that could go wrong. So, with that, good luck with it. And good luck bidding on it.